after Google announced Gemini Ultra not even a week ago, they decided to also publish Gemini Vision Pro, uh, I, I mean Gemini 1.5 Pro, the latest and the wildest model they have ever made. And if you're new to the Google LM Fiesta, don't worry, here's a quick recap on their version history. And as you can see, their naming scheme is just as bad as taller at counting. Then here we are, Gemini 1.5 Pro with a staggering 10 million tokens context length, which is like 7.5 million words. And to put it into perspective of how absurd this is, it's like reading the entire Harry Potter series for 7.5 times. Last time, we saw Anthropic's Claw 2.1 model, which has 200k tokens context length, but it still fails here and there in the needle in the haystack problem. For those who don't know, needle in the haystack is a benchmark that basically hides a few facts that the AI wasn't trained on within the context window and tests a model to retrieve them. And Google was like, wait, wait, hold my beer. Boom, 10 million. And decided to make Gemini 1.5 Pro 50 times larger than Claude, then nearly aced the benchmark. With overall 99% accuracy and 100% accuracy for up to 512,000 tokens, they demonstrated the model's ability by taking 3.js, which is a 3D JavaScript library of about 100,000 lines of code, then have it to help the user to learn the code base. And looking at their demos, you can be really specific about any low-level or high-level knowledge. So instead of dropping your ego and asking your co-workers about the abstraction hell they created, you can now ask Gemini 1.5 Pro. And to further show Gemini's learning capabilities, they tested on this language called Kalameng, which has less than 200 speakers around the world. Then using someone's 500-page book, A Grammar of Kalameng, as the context, Gemini 1.5 Pro can then pretty much learn to translate it from English to Kalameng or the other way around. But on top of all these impressive feats, Gemini 1.5 Pro is actually a multimodal model. That means it can process audio, images, and even videos, with the capability of analyzing videos up to 3 hours long and audios up to 22 hours. Both of them still ace their needle in the haystack benchmark, which is absurd given how no other multimodal models have been able to analyze videos and audios that long. And easily beating the combo GPT-4 plus Whisper for audio haystack and GPT-4 vision in terms of video length, it is able to output precise timestamps of an event that you described and even understanding a doodle that is illustrating a scene then also provide you the event timestamp. This absolute nuts model apparently took way less time to train compared to Gemini 1 Ultra and barely lost any capabilities, and has a pretty decent jump in performance compared to Gemini 1 Pro while having a super long context. And the key to success of Gemini 1.5 Pro is, guess what, using mixture of experts. On top of that, some people speculate it might be using a research paper published only two days ago called Large World Model that uses Ring Attention, which enabled LMs to process videos up to an hour. This connection was drawn because Gemini and Large World Model are both running on TPUs, which is provided by Google for free to the researchers that were working on Large World Model, and Google might have had the opportunity to reference this research before the whole world has seen it. And this does give us a slight hint on the architecture of Gemini 1.5 Pro. But after the Gemini demo incident, I suggest don't have your hopes too high. So take off your Copian mask and stay calm before they bless this with 10 million tokens to play with. When they are done cooking, they will roll out Gemini 1.5 Pro with a standard 128k tokens context window. Then they will soon plan to introduce pricing tiers that start at 128k context window and scale up to 1 million tokens, which is I don't know when. And they did not mention about the 10 million tokens because that might be too expensive to run commercially right now. And this has been the code report. <clears throat> Wait, I mean this is by cloud. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, never mind. I thought we were done here. Uh OpenAI saw Google publish Gemini 1.5 Pro. So only two hours later they published Sora, which is their first text to video model. I'll maybe make a video about it soon, but it looks so good. It looks so coherent it looks so clean it looks so crib it's so insane I, I need to stop coping but not much details has been announced at the time of me making this video but it's crazy it's 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 so crisp this is nothing like we have seen before but of course you can still nitpick here and there is bad but the quality step up is huge compared to any other text of video models it is miles ahead you can check out this video for the progress of text of video but anyways thank you so much for watching check out my leaderboard for ai related websites we added some fun Function, so now you can check the total visits of last seven days, which is pretty cool. Shout out to Andrew Laschelius, Chris Ledoux, Alex J, Alex Marie's, Miguel Lim, Degan, 
to follow and many others that support me through Patreon or YouTube. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next one.